everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Got my empties and it's for two months this time for February and March. And in February, I only had like five or six items, so I wanted to float it to the next month. And then it just kind of morphed into something bigger. Let me show you my basket of trash. And I just finished this scrub by Sol de Janeiro this morning. So I just put it on top because technically I finished it in March, so it belongs in this basket. So let me go ahead and group them together in front of me by categories like hair care, skin care, and the like. So hopefully I can move a little fast going through my empties, but let me go ahead and do that and I'll let you know if I liked it, purchase it, or if it was kind of, you know, me. I like doing that. All right, let me go ahead and separate them. Let's go ahead and start with body care with a product that I finished this morning and it's by Sol de Janeiro and it's the Boom Boom Body Scrub smells just like the Boom Boom Cream. And it has a really nice scrubbiness to it. I remember the first time that they did come out with the body scrub, it looked like mustard. I don't know if you remember that, but yeah, it had that mustard color and didn't have that scrubbiness to it. So I guess they reformulated and put it in one of the jars like their creams because the other one was in the bottle like the shower gel. But yeah, I really do like this and it has that same scent. And I just opened up my backup and during the Sephora sale, I will be picking up another one of these. And also from Sol de Janeiro, I finished a small travel size of the Boom Boom Cream. And I have many samples of this in different sizes. The smaller one, bigger one, because they do come in gift with purchases and in advent calendars. So I believe I've got maybe six more, not just in this size, but like in the smaller size and the one above this one. Because I believe the full size is the same size as the body scrub, but I don't have the full size because I've got many sizes of this, many different smaller sizes in this, in the Boom Boom Cream. And they did come out with a rose scent. So when I go to Sephora, I'm gonna smell it and see if it's the rose scent that I like. If it's not, then I'm just gonna stick with the Boom Boom Cream and the scrub and the shower gel, but I'm good on the shower gels. So speaking of shower gels, I've got several of them here. This is by Rituals, the Rituals of Dow shower gel this foaming gel, shower gel love the rituals of down I've got several more of this and this does show up a lot of my empties as do these and one of them is the molten brown and this is my husband's favorite this is recharge black pepper he likes the spicier scents and I believe we have another one maybe not in the black pepper but another one in this size and I do have several more in the travel size in different flavors and then I have this one by the white company the Seychelles my favorite scent Oh, and this is the body lotion, not the shower gel. So my bad in that one. The notes that are in the Seychelles body lotion and the shower gel is bergamot, amber, and vanilla. Smells so good. Now I have to say that the body lotion is a little bit light. So it'd be nice for the summertime because I need something a little bit thicker in the wintertime because, you know, our skin is drier. But this one has a nice light texture and it absorbs very nicely into the skin. And I've got, I believe, one more. And the shower gel, I'm almost finished with that. That may be showing up in the next month's empty or the month after that. But yeah, I love the shower products from Rituals, Molten Brown, and Seychelles. And of course, this one right here, another one of my favorites, is this one by Bath & Body Works, Moonlit Path. Unfortunately, this is a discontinued scent. But I do have maybe, maybe one more in the body cream because this one's a body cream and two more in the shower gels. So I'm trying not to use that much because this is one of my favorite scents. I've been using this for, gosh, maybe over 15, 20 years. Yeah, it's that old. And I'm sad that they're retiring this scent because this is just one of my favorite scents, one of my go-tos. So yeah, I'll be using the ones that I have very sparingly, very sparingly. Another body lotion that I have, it's from this brand Spa Rituals. I did get this when I was getting the monthly subscription box from, I believe it was the Detox Market. And this is the Earl Grey Body Solve. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but it's a body lotion. It's very nice, very thick, and my husband was using this one. Because he does have a little bit more drier skin than I do, especially in the wintertime, and this one just helps you know, smooth out the crackness in his legs and feet. And I have to say, this one smells very nice. Yeah, it's very, I don't know, I can't describe Earl Grey, but it just smells so nice. And the texture is very nice, too. Don't know if I'll be getting another one of these because I think I'm just going to stick with the brands that I already know and love, like the White Company, Molten Brown, Bath & Body Works, Boom Boom Cream, and anything else that just shows up in some of these beauty advent calendars or gift with purchases. Or There's probably one out there that's going to be one of our favorites in the future, but so far we're happy with what we got now. I have two bath products here, and one of them I did get in the beauty advent calendar. And this is by Espa and it's the grounding crystals you put this in your bath water and it does make the water smell and feel so nice now one thing I don't like about it I don't have any more in here of course but it had like dried flowers so it just kind of stays in your tub and the bath crystals that were in here did dissolve but just the dried flowers just you know just kind of 
It was a nice touch to have it floating in, in top of the bath water, but then you have to clean it out. And Espa is a very pricey brand, so I don't think we'll be getting a bigger size of this. It was nice to try because I love getting the beauty advent calendars to try new things, but yeah, I think I want to pass on this one. Now, this bath sauce is from the White Company and it comes in this drawstring cloth bag which I love. I'm going to show it to you. But here's the bag where the bath salts are. The color of the font just makes it hard to see and this is the Spa Restore Epsom bath salts. And the notes in here are geranium, neruli, and eucalyptus and it smells so good and it makes the water smell or makes the water feel very soft. It does come with a little wooden spatula which is a nice touch and it smells so good and I do have I believe three more of this. What I'm gonna do is put this in the recycling bin. I'll keep the little spatula, but the drawstring bag that it comes in, the outside is a very soft cloth and the inside, it's vinyl lined. So this will be great for travel. You could put shampoos in here, shower gels, body lotions. You could put it in here and it'll be protected with this liner. It does have a nice drawstring to it too. So yeah, this is a very smart idea what they did. I do have several more of the White Company Epsom salts and I don't know if they carry it anymore because I did buy them last year when they were having their sale. But I love the bath salts and I love the bag that it came in and the little wooden spatula. Now let's move into hair care and these products, you see them a lot. This is the Revitalize thickening shampoo the conditioner that's going to show up in next month's empties I've been using this shampoo and conditioner by Revita Lash for a couple of years now and it does make my hair soft and it doesn't make it look brittle and it does give a little thickness to it it is a little pricey but I always try to find a sale or if there's a nice gift with purchase I'll get it so I can get the gift with purchase so I saw that cost bar was having a nice gift with purchase so I went ahead and bought it full price I know it's full price but I did get a nice gift with purchase and hopefully I'll be doing a haul video and I'll show everything that I got. Another shampoo I have and this is the Olaplex number four. And of course the number five will probably be in next month's empties along with the Revitalash conditioner. <laughs> I just finished the shampoo more because I don't use that much conditioner. Just enough to put on the ends of my hair. I don't put conditioner near my scalp. So I do finish the shampoo a little bit faster. But the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, whenever I use it, it just makes my hair fluffy. And I just like that feeling. I just wish that they would change the bottle shape because it is hard to get the product out. So in my shower, I always have to keep it upside down so it'll be easier to get it out. And I think also during the Sephora sale, I may pick up another one of the number four and number five. Finished travel sizes of the L'Occitane shampoo shampoo and conditioner and the almond scent smells so good it is very nice for the hair makes it very soft doesn't tangle my hair and it does kind of make my hair feel a little fuller so I do have the full size of the shampoo and conditioner I also have it in more of the travel size okay last thing for my hair this is the bumble and bumble surf spray this is what I spray on my hair when it's damp after I get out of the shower and it does give me those kind of beachy waves look didn't use it today because I use something else I like to you know interchange my products for my hair I mean I don't know if you can see here in the nozzle that there's some salt buildup there. I hope you can see that. But it doesn't dry the hair out and it just gives it those beachy waves to it. And I do have two more. I did buy backups of it last year actually. Now let's move on to cleansers and I have this one by Bioderma. This is the micellar water. Love this one. It takes off my eye makeup, doesn't leave the raccoon eyes, doesn't sting my eyes. And I've been using this for years. I have been trying others that do show up with gift with purchases or in advent calendars and I just always go back to the Bioderma. Let me tell you what I do. I use the one with the pump the one that you push down put your cloth here and then you push down and the liquid comes to the cloth I prefer that instead of just taking this and just you know putting it upside down shake it into my cloth so the one with the pump you could twist off the lid and what I do is I take this and I put it inside that bottle because for some reason they don't make it easy to take these lids off to interchange them even the small travel size you have to put that in the recycling bin you can't twist the lid open to refill it which that's kind of a downfall there because you have to buy a new one and there's more waste so I think I have two more bottles with this type of a lid and so far the pump lid that I have it's been going on for I think this is the third time I've refilled it so, so far it's still going strong so once that pump breaks I'm gonna have to buy a new one with that pump and then just refill it from there so yeah, love this to remove my eye makeup. I have two cleansers from L'Occitane. Let's start with this one. This is the Cleansing Milk. This one's 
not my favorite. I did go ahead and use it, finish it up. I just didn't like the scent. I believe it's figs and honey, which are two things that I love, but I just didn't like the scent in here. And I do like to use a cleansing milk whenever I come in from exercising. I'll just use a cleansing milk because you don't need to put water on your face. Just get a pump of this on a dry face and just massage it in and then rinse off. And then my routine after that, I'll put a mask on and then hop into the shower. I know we all have our little routines here and there, don't we? But that's my routine. Whenever I work out, I like to use a cleansing milk. And I'm glad I got to try it, but I will not be repurchasing this because it is kind of expensive. It's L'Occitane. I went ahead and got one of my favorites and it's by Aven, that cleansing milk. And then this is the cleansing oil by L'Occitane. A little sample size of it. I believe it was in the advent calendar or the gift with purchase that I got with the calendar. And this is a nice cleansing oil. I don't use it to cleanse my face with it. I use cleansing oils to clean off the swatches off my fingers or off my arm. And then this one is a nice little travel size to try. Don't think I'll be getting the full size of this one. So I like the one from DHL, I believe that's the brand, but you'll be seeing that also in my haul video. But yeah, two products from L'Occitane that I tried and will not be repurchasing these. I have two masks for my face and this is by First Aid Beauty and it's the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. Very nice mask, it kind of soothes my skin. Whenever I need to calm my skin, this is great. I don't know, it just smells like a sugar cookie to me. That's the scent of it. And there are oatmeal bits in here that gives you a little bit of exfoliation. And this one's not a bad price. I believe it was $24 and if you can find it on sale, that's even better. And I did buy another one because I love this mask. It's very nice, very soothing on my skin. And another mask, this is by Elemis. The Peptide Thousand Flower Mask, another great mask. I think all the masks from Elemis are very nice. I do see results whenever I use the Elements mask. It just makes my skin look happy. And so does this one by First Aid Beauty. Just kind of soothes it. Now let's move into skincare and I've got quite a bit. And let's start with this one. It's by Claire's and of course with the font I can't read it. It's the Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. This one I did get in the Advent Condor by, oh gosh, Yes Style. So it's a K-Beauty product and this is very nice. I really do like this and I think I will be repurchasing this product. It is like what the name says it's a watery oil. It's more of a water base instead of an oil. And this water based serum just hydrates the skin without that stickiness or without any oil in there. Try to read what it says on the bottle. It has antioxidants, rich watery oil, deep hydration, glowy complexion, and vegan friendly. You get 1.7 ounce of product in here and if I'm not mistaken it was like under $30. K-Beauty skincare products has a great price point and you do see some results with them. With this one I do see the hydration and it absorbs very nicely into the skin and and I would put this one on first, kind of like an essence, and then put my serums and moisturizers on top. And I am thinking about getting a backup of this one. I just want to finish some of the things I need to finish first. There were a lot of products that was in that Advent calendar from Yes Style. So yeah, I would like to get this one again. You like that long pipette. That's pretty long. <laughs> So if you're looking for a water-based serum that gives you that hydration, the Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. It's very nice and it has a good price point too. Now this one doesn't have a nice price point. It's kind of expensive, but this one's also very nice too. It's by Sarah Chapman. It's the Skin Assist Morning Facial. This is my second bottle of it and I think I'm going to hold off getting a new one. So like I said, I want to finish some of the products that I have first, but I do have the Night Facial and I'll always get that one because I do see results whenever I use the Night Facial. The Morning Facial it's okay. It was nice, but I don't see the results that I get with the night facial. This did play well with makeup and with the other serums and moisturizers that I use. Maybe my skin was used to it. I didn't see much with the second bottle. Maybe. I think I'm going to hold off getting a new one of this because it is kind of pricey. Now this is the Augustinus Bader The Rich Cream. This shows up a lot with gift with purchases and the advent calendar. I think last year there were two advent calendars that I got had this in there in the same size. So here is one of them. I already finished it and I have one more left and yeah, it's... It's too rich for me, I should say, because I do have combo oily skin and just, I don't know, it's not one of my favorites, but I will use it whenever I get it because it, it's, what, half an ounce, I believe? Yeah, this is half an ounce. And it is an expensive brand, Augustinus Bader, I believe I, that's how I say her name. But it's just a little too rich for my for my skin. I have a Beauty Mist by Claude Lee, the Beauty Elixir, and this is very nice. It does wakes my skin up. It has that coolness to it and has that scent that just wakes my skin up. And I do have two more in this size because this one did come in an Advent calendar and the Claude Lee products are very nice. Very nice. I have the moisturizing soft cream from La Mer. This is the moisturizing cream that I love. This is my favorite. I've been using the soft cream for 
decades and many of you know that La Mer reminds me of my mom. So yeah, I do love La Mer. And I think I have maybe one more in this size and a couple more in the very small size. It absorbs very nicely into the skin and has that great scent. Always be using the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream. Alright, I have a few more skincare products. No. no, I have two more and this one should have been in the bath products because this is a bath oil from the white company and this is the relax bath oil. <laughs> I thought it was part of the skincare. That's why I put it here. And the notes in this one are lavender and chamomile and this one just smells so nice and another product that just makes the water soft. And this one did come in the advent calendar from the white company that I did open up. But I believe that there were two or three bath oil shots in that advent calendar. Very nice. Very nice. Now the last two skincare products that I have also showed up in Advent calendars, I believe, Space and K and maybe Cult Beauty. Let's start with this one by Dr. Barbara Sturm and it's the Hyaluronic Serum. Now I'm not a big fan of Dr. Barbara Sturm. I don't know, just some of her products just... I don't see a difference whenever I use it and it's very expensive. I believe we priced this little third of an ounce jar as $100. And for Hyaluronic Serum, you can buy the Hada Lobo one. I believe that's the brand. It's the Korean skincare brand for under $20. And that's a lot better. That hydrates your skin a lot better. Sorry, Dr. Barbara Serum. Sorry, this is just my opinion and how it works on my skin. But this one, it's not worth $100 for this, for this little bottle. And they do show up in these gift with purchases and advent calendar. When it does show up, I will use it depending on what it is. If not, I'll pass it to family or friends or maybe put it in a future giveaway. But yeah, it's just not my favorite by Dr. Barbara Sturm. And then this one by Medicaid. This is also a hy hyaluronic serum. This is the Hydra B5 Intense. This one was okay. This one was okay. It's not my favorite either. Whenever I need moisture, I usually use like an Essence or the one by Claire's, the one that I showed you in the beginning, or the one by Hada Lobo. But some of these expensive hyaluronic serums just, I don't know, it just doesn't work with my skin. It's nice to try. It was nice to try. But to get the full size of this one, probably not. You have a couple of sunscreens. This is by Super Goop. This is the Unseen sunscreen. I use this one for my face whenever we're going out outside on the beach or going for a walk. Don't use this one underneath makeup because I just don't like the feel of sunscreen underneath my makeup. I know, I know. We need to wear sunscreen, especially underneath makeup, but that just doesn't work for me. I do wear foundations with some sunscreen, but to put sunscreen underneath makeup just doesn't work for me. This one does not give me a white cast. It has like a an orangey gel texture and it absorbs nice doesn't feel too hot or sticky or anything like that and it does protect from the skin this one does have an SPF of 40 and it does protect from the Sun not from the skin but from the Sun probably during the Sephora sale I will pick up another full size but I believe I've got maybe a couple of sample sizes so yeah I think I will pick up a full size during the force during the Sephora sale and then this is the ultra sheer body mist by Neutrogena with an SPF of 100 plus. I know there was a big hoopla about using some of these spray mist sunscreens that causes cancer but these are leftovers from last summer and we're just using them up. I do like it because it's something that we just spray on our body and then we would put the Neutrogena sunscreen and the cream on top of that for more protection. I don't know about the cancer claims but I do like the body mist in the Neutrogena. I don't even know if you can buy it in the stores because we haven't checked because we've been just using the ones that we've had from last year. I do like it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. If I'm going to be buying more. I don't know yet. We're just going to finish what we have and then we'll decide. All right, I have a toothpaste from Marvis. This is the Whitening Mint. Very nice toothpaste. Kind of a bougie toothpaste, but nice nonetheless. And I do have backups of these in different flavors. And let's move into makeup. Finish three mascaras. That's the only makeup I finished this or in the last two months. The Sisley, the Ultra Stretch. This one's okay. Wasn't my favorite. And another one by Sisley can't remember the name of this. It doesn't have it on it. I think I like this one better than the Ultra Stretch. And of course, the Lancome Mr. Big. Love this. And I have a couple more backups. But the ones from Sisley, yeah, I won't be getting backups of these. Yeah, not my favorite. I do have maybe one more in my stash. But with the mascara from Sisley, not my favorite. But the one by Lancome Mr. Big, Yes. Now let's move into food and I have some jams from Bon Mama. Did an admin counter unboxing and these are were in it. And I think 
I have a few more left, but these are nice little jars. I'm gonna keep these because they make great shot glasses with this if you need one ounce of something because these are one full ounce jars. Let's see, I finished the peach mint spread, which is very delicious. The strawberry linden blossom spread, another very delicious spread. And then raspberry red currant. Yeah, I remember this one. This one was great for peanut butter in my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The bon bon moss spreads and jams and preserves are very tasty, very nice. Finished two candles and this one showed up in an advent calendar. I couldn't tell you the name, the brand of this one, but it just says loving outside. Let's see if it says anything on the bottom. From the UK and I believe the brand is Bella Freud, but it's loving. Fine fragrance candle. Doesn't tell me the notes in this, but wasn't very Christmassy. That's what I remember with this one. It wasn't very Christmassy. So finish this. And then this one is by Huntington Home. And this is the number 16 Bergamot and Oud. And this one smells very nice. And I found this at Aldi. And it's under $5 for this candle. And it just smells so good. And I was in Aldi yesterday. And they didn't have the scent anymore. Which is kind of a bummer. And I was in a hurry so I didn't pick up any more candles. But when I go back to Aldi I'll be picking up a couple more candles. Because these are great candles. They smell so good. And it's under five bucks. Can't go wrong with that. And the last things that I have are the paper products. And let's quickly go through these. This is by Dr. Dennis Gross. The exfoliating body treatment. Comes in a cloth. And how I use this is I, right before I get into the shower, I'll just rub it all over my skin. Stay in there for about a minute. Then hop into the shower because this does have a stick to it but when I come out my skin just feels so smooth because it does exfoliate the body and I have several more of this and then this mask that showed up in the yes style advent calendar it's the Sika bubble sparkling booster and this one was a fun mask because whenever you apply it to your skin it kind of foams up and I believe that there were 10 in the pack so now I'm down to maybe six I believe but this was fun and then you rinse off your skin is very bright and clean and and all that good stuff with it but it was kind of fun watching it foam up you just need to be careful not to put it near your nose or near your mouth because it will kind of foam up in front of it and then you can't breathe <laughs> Finish a sample of the R Co Gemstone, the color shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, it was okay. It was nice to try. And then the last products are these sheet masks from Secret Key. I do have the essence from Secret Key, and this is just saturated in a little cotton mask. Apply it to my skin, and it just it's very relaxing whenever I do that. And it has that Secret Key essence that's kind of like a dupe for the SK2. And it's a whole lot cheaper than the SK2. I still love the SK2, but the Secret Key essence, very nice and to have it into a sheet mask extra nice and I think I only have maybe one or two more of this one so whenever I get the Claire's watery oil drop I may pick up a couple more of these sheet masks by secret key all right those are my empties for two months for February and March and hopefully next month it won't be this long maybe I probably won't have that much and I have to float it to the next month but <laughs> we'll see it's all good it's all fun and all good all right you guys Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked and enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.